good morning. Wonderful to be with you this morning. Now I want to use an analogy of our lives. Now our lives is like fertile ground. It's like a land that's been plowed and it's waiting for seed to be sown into it. Now what is that seed? What is that seed that must plow, that must be sown into our lives? Now that is the Word of God. Right? His Word. Now we read in 1 Peter 2 verse 23, we read these words. It says, Having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, through the Word of God that lives and abides in our lives forever. His words that lives in us. Now to get His words in us, right? We must meditate and we must chew and we must over, not overthink, but think it over and over and over. What does it mean in our lives and, and how can I apply it in my life? And how do I make it my life, make my life part of that word? And that's literally make that word written on the tablets of my heart. And it's literally been, means, like, means that it is part of my life now. I believe it, I stand on it, and it's part of my life. And when we start to meditate on that word, we're not just only planting that word in our lives, we're also germinating it. Because there are many promises of God. And God wants us to live in His fullness. But for His blessings and miracles and His fullness to come to our lives, they must be seed. They must be seed. And we, how do I find it? In His word. But not only that, His word inside of me. And as I meditate on it, it starts to germinate. And a harvest will come from that seed. When I start to believe it, and I start to live it, and it becomes part of my life, then that, heart, then that seed, a harvest will come. So, can I challenge us this last part of the week, right? To spend time in the Word, but not just to get head knowledge, but to literally write those words on the tablets of our heart, make it our own, meditate on it, chew on it, think it over and over, and make it part of your life. Because as, you, as, you, as we spend time, with the Lord and His Word, right? That seed's been planted, it's been germinated, and a harvest will come. Amen? Let us pray together. Lord, thank You for Your Word. And thank You, Lord, that Your Word stands forever, Lord. And Father, also help us to spend time with, with You and Your Word, and also to understand it and to write it on the tablets of our hearts, because we want to live in Your fullness, because we know that's Your heart for us as well. And we honor You for that, in Jesus' name. Amen.